Mary had a bit of a rough night last night. Good morning, guys. I have discovered something about ourselves that I think we just need to acknowledge we're bad at meal planning. We're bad at, like, grocery shopping. Um, we're just not very good at having meals on hand. And... We like cooking. We like cooking. And so, today, the sponsor for today's video is Every Plate. And when we just finished with a live stream on Mary's Instagram, and I came downstairs, and I was like, I just realized it's two o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch and I'm feeling hangry and so I looked in the fridge and I couldn't come up with anything to um to make for lunch and then I remembered that we had the every plate box on the front step so every plate is a curated meal kit delivery service where you can choose your meals and it is one of the most affordable meal kit delivery services um so we've really enjoyed um working with them over the past year or so and the meals are fun to make i enjoy cooking them everything's pre-portioned the recipes right there it takes the thinking out of it so if you guys want to try out every plate they are offering to you guys a great deal for your first time you can get your first box for $1.79, like $1.79 per meal. And then after that, you get 20% off your next two boxes. So I'll show you what we've got in here. A box of fresh produce. And on the bottom are ice packs with our different meats for this week. Chicken sausage and roasted tomato linguine creamy lemon herb chicken, and Greek diner style pork meatloaves. I don't know what makes it diner style, but I'm excited to try it. Any of those sound good to you, honey? Any. She said any. So I'm gonna make us some lunch. Use our link in the description. Thanks every plate for sponsoring today's vlog. And now to your regularly scheduled, that's hard to say, regularly scheduled programming. Good morning, guys. Mary says that I have a bouffant. <laughs> she said to me to this morning, she says, your hair is very poofy. Yes. I agree. That's why I usually wear hats. Mary had a bit of a rough night last night. I don't know if it was the Leviquin that she started or just... It felt like a med, like a med fire in my brain. Like she couldn't go to sleep last night. And it wasn't just normal, like couldn't go to sleep. But like My vision felt like... <laughs> Like didn't that. feel like Vorcon was all the... Not quite. But, yeah, so I couldn't sleep for many hours. So yeah. then I took a Benadryl. Mm-hmm. And then I slept, but now I just feel like, oh, this morning... What? I just was, like, in a complete fog. Mm. It was so bizarre. So, yeah, we like <coughs> Mary sleeping... <laughs> And Elijah, he got up early. When did he get up? Like 6.30. We came down and we had a good morning. He, Ollie and I took a long walk and he's just, he's cute in the mornings. I feel like he, I feel like he's goofy in the mornings. Do you feel like that? Yeah. He's still like, still kind of waking up, but he's like smiley and. Anyways, mornings are sweet, and um, yeah, the mornings where we let Mary sleep in. We have a little, little guy time, so it's fun. But Mary's 
long as we just did some PT and I was just thinking, it's like sitting here thinking before I picked up the camera. I wonder like what the last time I did PT on Mary, like chest PT, try to clear her airways. I literally just finished my vest and I was like, I need PT. Hmm. Hence her starting antibiotics last night and like it seems like covid wise mostly covid's kind of exiting the house seems like it elijah has a little bit of a cough um it woke him up a bit last night how do you feel i feel pretty good i feel better today we took the long walk around the neighborhood this okay. morning and like I think it was a couple days ago I took I just went for a short walk in the neighborhood and I felt really fatigued afterward but we did our normal walk today and I felt fine so I don't know I think I think I'm and I'm like what day is this for me oh this is today's Tuesday so last Tuesday I tested positive mm -hmm. so it's like day eight for me um, anyways we're Coffee tasted bizarro this morning. Oh yeah. That's, I'm glad that, I think coffee tastes different to me, but I've still enjoyed it in the morning. I'm like, mm, still hot and creamy. <laughs> hot and creamy, but. Do you want me to give you a haircut? No. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'll get a, a haircut here eventually. Mm. You know you're cute even with a bouffant. <laughs> I'm gonna go find my hat. No. <laughs> well, I, I, it feels bouffant. <laughs> you know, like, a hat helps. Like, it, it feels feel like I don't have, like, a marshmallow on my hat. Marshmallow. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Having sympathy card. I'm ready to go up on the third floor. Oh, sure. Oh. Room. What? Should we move the cat? Oh yeah, we do want to move the cat. We have the cat currently. His um, litter box area is in our working room. I think we're gonna move it. We like don't use, except for like one or two times a year when we have guests. We basically don't use our guest bedroom, not the third floor one. Um, like if we have guests and it's just one person or like one family, like they'll stay on the third floor. And so we have our queen guest bedroom, what used to be my office on the second floor. Anyways, <coughs> Harry's litter box <coughs> will fit in the closet in that room. <coughs> and we're like, <coughs> let's go, let's get it out of sight. Yeah. Yeah, and I know Harry loves that closet. Anytime I crack that door open to like organize stuff or put something in that closet, yeah. he like dashes in there. So I was thinking if we put his litter box in there, he's gonna think like this is his palace. Yeah, plus that room is basically his room. We put his bed on that queen bed. Yep. Our cat has a queen size guest bedroom. And now he's gonna have the closet too. It's gonna be like a, an ensuite. I just came up to the third floor. And I was trying to set the camera up. I'm just gonna sew for a little bit. And I know I'm not feeling well because I was just trying to set the camera up. And I legitimately almost started crying because I couldn't find a place to put it that would hold the camera in the right place. I cannot wait to show you guys our new setup. You can see part of it behind me. But part of the setup is I don't have my, well actually I still could, huh. The heat press is up on this countertop and um, that's where my sewing machine used to be. So I put the sewing machine just on the shelf and then last night I was like, oh I'm gonna sew for a little bit. 
So I pulled it down here on the floor and I'm just using it on the floor. So I'll show you my little setup for the day. Not a sustainable setup, I'll tell you, for my back posture, but for now it works. All right, I have the pedal right here and I use my knee to press the pedal and then, yeah. And don't worry, my entertainment is on point. I have my VHS player here and I'm watching Princess Diaries. And are you ready for a instant memory throwback? That sound. It's like the sound of possibilities. You don't know what kind of adventure you're gonna go on when you pop that VHS in the machine. Okay, you want more memories? That sound? That. When walking in a crowd, one is under scrutiny all the time. I still need to put the tags on these. Okay. I used a glue stick to get them to stay there. Mm hmm That's a great idea. And then, um... And then you just sew it on? Mm-hmm. I guess I should make, like, stacks of ten or something. <laughs> Amazing. I'm loving our new setup up here. Me too. It's fun, like a magical attic. Mm-hmm. And it's so nice that the magical attic has a big window. When you laugh, when you cry, I'll be always on your side and thing. 